Chandrayaan 3 is inching closer to the moon. Eventually, it will be, of course, about a billion prayers over the soft landing on the lunar surface. But even before that, remember, there is every time a step that needs to be cleared. Chandrayaan 3 is uh, all set to complete another milestone before it decides to attempt the soft landing on the moon. The spacecraft has completed uh, the lunar-bound maneuver, setting the stage now to separation of the landing module comprising Vikram, the lander, and Pragyan, the rover, from the propulsion module. Now, remember, Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft is set for a moon landing we are expecting on the 23rd of August, aiming to become only the fourth nation to achieve this milestone after U.S., Russia, and China. So a lot of prayers banking right now on that day. Post-separation, what will happen? Vikram, carrying Pragyan, will begin its separate lunar voyage from the propulsion module. Now, the Vikram lander, as you must have guessed by now, has been named after Vikram Sarabhai. The father of Indian space program and designed to function for 14 days will be engaging in exploring the lunar south pole. The Pragyan Rover 6 wheeled vehicle, which has instruments configured with the payload, will roll out to conduct experiments on the moon's surface for 14 days. It will now first have to separate in space, and then the lander and the, uh, and, uh, the rover will want to be able to softly land on the surface. It's not an easy terrain at all, remember. Only three nations have managed to achieve this for now. Listen in to what Minister Dr. Jitendra Singh had to say. The heartening piece of news that I wish to share is that the Chandrayaan-3 has finally completed its last lunar maneuver. It's entered into an orbit of 143 kilometers by 153 kilometers. And uh, now the next important milestone would be the coming out of the lander module from the propulsion module, which we expect to happen on the 17th of August, following which then the location of the landing would be determined, the exact location somewhere close to the South Pole, which we expect to happen, the exact landing on the 23rd of August around 5.30 p.m. in the evening. Let me now bring in Pramod Madhav, who had even seen the launch live of the Chandrayaan-3. Now, of course, each milestone, Pramod, is very crucial. So, soft landing will be the final achievement, uh, but today is as significant. Can we say, actually, that this is also an important achievement as in when that separation happens because if that happens successfully, we can act, actually at least wait with a billion prayers for the soft landing. It absolutely is. And uh, one good thing is that like the, uh, the separation of the uh, lander module with the, uh, uh, from the propulsion module, ISRO has already successfully done it with Chandrayaan 2 itself. And then what will happen is that they will once again go with uh, various uh, uh, testings of the module and they will have to stabilize the module itself because it will be in a different position like this and it will be brought in this manner and then it will be allowed to actually go in rotation around the uh, moon by which it will this its uh, uh, deceleration will be initiated and the space between the module and the moon's surface will be reduced they will be using a technique called as reverse thrust that will actually decrease the speed of its fall so it, it's something called as controlled deceleration and not just that here like uh, the moon's uh, actual gravity is one sixth of what the earth has so all this will be kept un in perspective israel has said that like multiple tests even taking rocks from one location in namakan called tamil nadu called namakal which actually resembles a composite of the moon's rock that was even taken over there nearly a hundred tons to make a proper bed and the, this module was tested with cranes with helicopters to see exactly like how much actual uh, the uh, when it falls how much impact can it uh, like uh, uh, take on itself and all those things have been uh, tested and isro and everybody like in the scientific community are 100 percent sure that isro will definitely succeed in this mission well, of course, and we will all be waiting with bated breath for that day. Remember, Chandrayaan 1 managed to discover water on the moon's surface. Chandrayaan 2 also got enough data from the lunar, from around the moon as well. But Chandrayaan 3, with that soft landing, that will be, of course, the big achievement. And we'll be waiting for that day to come. Thank you so much, Pramod Madhav, for the latest coming in from what the Chandrayaan 3 mission really is.